Hey, what's up, guys? I'm DJ LaFave, and I make audiovisual educational content for streamers and DJs. In this tutorial, I'm going to share quick tips and tricks that will allow you to auto stop recording an auto mix session. That's right, something we haven't been able to do before, but we can do it right now. So, if you ever wanted to put together a mix for cocktail hour or just let VDJ mix up some of your favorite tracks and then upload them up to Mixcloud, this tutorial will show you how to do that and not get stuck with the mix recording continuous silence once all your music has stopped. So, like and subscribe for more content like this geared towards streamers and DJs, and let's get into it all right so the first thing that we have to do is we have to set up some keyboard shortcuts because we're going to integrate virtual dj with either the elgato stream deck you can have the physical stream deck or the mobile uh platform which i think is like 25 dollars a year or you can i'm also going to show you how to do this with touch portal touch portal is 12 dollars 99 for a lifetime license lifetime license so uh very very easy very very easy to do and here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the top right of Virtual DJ, and you're going to hit this uh, this gear cog, and then your settings are going to pop up. So we have to go over to the left, and we're going to go to mapping, mapping first and foremost. So we're going to go to keyboard, and you're going to create a custom mapping here for keyboard. So for this, I've already added it in here. I did Control Alt and Five as my record, but you guys don't have that yet, right? So all you have to do is you have to type in the actions. So we're going to type in record and then the key that i want to do that at is i'm going to do control alt and five and now whenever i press control alt and five together it's going to start a recording and it's going to stop a recording each set each time that you do press that so now we're going to click save on that the other settings that you might want to look at as well is to just, to just type in record right here and some of the things you'll notice in the record record auto start record wait for sound so if you click wait for sound then it's going to wait for the music to start playing before it starts recording or anything like that so we're going to leave this one checked to yes record auto start we're going to set to no right now i'm saving these as mp3 files you can save them as video files if you have uh, videos going on um, you can also do them as a, I think a wave file as well. And then this, this section right here shows you where they're going to save to. So those are the only main configurations that you have to do inside of virtual DJ in the settings. Okay. Make sure you go to mapping, uh, set your keyboard mapping to add a record as a hotkey, and then go to your options and set your recordings up to how you want them to be. All right. So we're going to close out of that. The next thing that I'm going to have you do is I'm going to go to video, right? And it doesn't matter what video you have. I want you just to pop out this screen. You're going to pop out this and it's going to, let me bring, bring the window back on over here. It's just going to pop out a window, a small window. This is important for getting focus back into virtual DJ. Um, that's going to make a little bit more sense in a, in a couple of moments. Uh, but the, the idea behind this is that when you, are using a shortcut to open up virtual dj again to give the focus back to the program if the focus is already on virtual dj and you do that quick trick that i'm going to show you in a minute it it ends up saying virtual dj is already open we can't do it again but the workaround is if you have a little window like this open it, it works flawlessly so just just make sure you do that and we will be golden golden all right so i'm going to show you first and foremost how to do this on using the elgato stream deck Okay, uh, you're going to notice down here inside of Virtual DJ, when you create an auto mix session, it shows you how long your session is right here. Remember that number for a little bit. All right, zoom it out, and we're going to open up Stream Deck. Stream Deck software, there's your Stream Deck. If you guys don't have a Stream Deck yet, it, it's definitely worth it. Uh, I definitely highly recommend it for you all. So I'm going to go to this profile that I just created, and this is what the end result is going to look like. It's going to look like this. Um, by ah oh. so I'm, I'm trying to zoom in at the same time while i'm using it Does, doesn't really work out that way okay so the recording session is going to end up looking like this at the end you're going to do your hotkey you're going to do a delay you're going to bring back virtual dj a delay and then your hotkey to stop recording that that doesn't make sense yet here we go we're going to go to the top right and we're going to do multi action so just type in multi action and we're going to bring this on over here okay so the first thing we have to do is we have to start recording right start recording so we're going to do a hotkey just type in hotkey and bring it on over here so the hotkey that we're going to do is we're going to say start recording and the hotkey we're going to do is the one that we just set up inside of virtual dj which is control alt and five the next thing that we have to do is we want to set up a delay 
So we're going to delay um, anything else coming back. So we're going to delay it. And the delay that you're going to put in here is however long your mix is. So if your mix is is one second, then you would put 1,000 milliseconds. <laughs> or one, yeah, no, wait, yes, <laughs> that's one second. Okay, is 1,000 milliseconds. If it's going to be um, five minutes, then you have to do uh, five minutes times, uh, my math isn't good. For, for this example, we're going to do a 10 sec. Well, uh, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do a, a 10, five seconds, five seconds for you. So 5,000 milliseconds is going to be the delay to bring virtual DJ back. Now, when we come down here to my bottom taskbar inside windows, this trick works great. So inside this trick, virtual DJ, if you type, if you hold the windows key and the two key, because this is the second application here, then virtual DJ will get the focus from windows. If I did windows plus the three button, then my third one will come up, which is uh, Chrome. If I did windows and four, then voice meter pops up. So just know where it is. It can be zero. Oh, it could be one through nine because you can't do anything over than that. So just make sure you move your virtual DJ back on down to right there. So we have our delay set up. Delay is set up for five seconds. And then what we're going to do is we are going to bring Windows back into focus. So I'm going to do a hotkey. I'm going to bring Virtual DJ back into focus. There's my hotkey, and we're going to say VDJ focus. Always a good idea to label these um, so you'll remember what they are for later. So we're going to do Windows 2. That's going to bring Virtual DJ back into focus. And then we're going to stop the recording. And to stop the recording, all it is is stop recording and it's going to be control, alt, and five. Again, that could be whatever you end up setting it up as, all right? So let's just zoom back out of here, zoom out. And so what you're gonna see when I push that button is you're gonna see that I'm gonna start my auto mix. You're gonna see right here that it's going to start recording, and then five seconds later, it's going to stop recording. So let me go back into that, that window. It's this one right here. So I'm gonna start my auto mix with YouTube Safe Music. Here we go. And then I'm gonna push that button. Started recording. Two, three, four, five. And it stopped. You see that window pop up down here really quick? That's, that's kind of, kind of important. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up another window and I'm gonna show you that it brings the focus back into uh, virtual DJ, which is, which is pretty neat. So you could be doing anything else that you want. So we're gonna we're gonna do it again. I'm gonna go into this Microsoft Word document. I'm gonna start typing, but it's gonna bring it back in here and still stop the recording. So here we go. I'm inside Virtual DJ. Um, I'm gonna push push the button, and then I'm gonna go to Word. Am I too? Uh, I'm too quick. Too quick. Too quick. Here we go. We'll do it one more time. One more. Actually, let's um let's make that a little bit longer to give me some time to go between windows here. <laughs> so to make it a little bit longer, just go back into your window and we're going to change this to 10 seconds. So now it's a 10 second. We're recording for 10 seconds, 10,000 milliseconds. So I'm going to push the button. It's going to start recording. It started recording. Now I'm inside of office. I'm just typing. And then we've got uh, five more seconds left. Here we go. I'm still typing and it stopped it. It brought it back inside of virtual DJ and it stopped the recording. So that right there is pretty neat. All you have to do is for that delay, make sure that delay is however long your entire mix is. So for example, if I remove all these items, if I just bring in, um, let's see, I'll bring in two songs here and you'll see that the the time for these is two, two minutes and 40 seconds for these two songs. So two minutes and 40 seconds that you have to multiply it by 60. Uh, that'll give you how many seconds it is. So I'll, I'll bring up this calculator right here because, uh, you know, oh, did I just close it? No, I just moved it over here. Okay, so all you're gonna do is is um, two minutes and 40 seconds. So two times 60 equals 120 plus 40. I could have done that. So 160 and then we'll, that will be 16,000, 160,000 milliseconds. And then that should record your entire mix. Hope that makes sense. Um, if you guys are digging this, make sure you drop a comment, hit like or whatever. And um, if you have any other questions, this is always the best way to reach me is through the comments of these videos. So that's how you do it in Stream Deck. It's really that simple. Now you can do your auto mixes. It'll mix it up for you and it'll stop recording once you're done and it's all over. The other way that I was going to show you, like I, I promised you all, was through Touch Portal. So Touch Portal, again, another free program that you can get with, um, with just go to Touch 
touch dash portal, just Google touch portal, and it'll it'll bring it up for you. I just want to make sure it's it's on my phone. So it, it shows up on your phone. Can't see it because of uh, you know, Mr. Green screen right there. But it's just the same thing as a stream deck. Everything you see on this display right up there shows up on your phone. So what I've already have configured, and I'm gonna show you guys that right here. What I have configured is zoom it on in. Uh, VDJ record. It's the same thing basically I just showed you, except this one, we're going to bring the focus into virtual DJ first. I'm going to wait 500 milliseconds. So take a screenshot of this if you need the settings. Maybe I'll throw a blog post up for this on, on the website, djlefave.com, to help you all out. And then the next thing we do is uh, we're going to start the recording. I'm going to wait five seconds, and then we're going to bring VDJ back into focus, and then it's going to wait half a second and stop recording. So this is just simple macros that are going to basically allow you to record and auto stop your record, which is really important. So with with that all done, I'm going to just play this again. We'll play this song again. Keep your eye on the record. I'm going onto my phone right now and I'm going to press it, right? Here we go. And waiting for sound to begin. Oh, need to bring the fader over. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Right, we'll do it one more time so it gets that full five seconds. Here we go. Pressing the button. And it's it's working. It's working. I'm not going to press anything. My hands are up. And it stopped recording after five seconds. So you could set that length for as long as you want to. And now you no longer have to be sitting at your computer to make your auto mixes with inside Virtual DJ. So I uh, I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys all appreciate that that uh, that quick quick tips and tricks. Um, that's what I got. I, I do live streams on here too, and I'd be remiss if I didn't go and give a shout out to all of the awesome people who, that's right, who sponsor the show. Let's go bring them up here. We got the, uh, the, the VIP members in the top, right? Nope. They're not coming up. There we go. We got the, the DJ booth members. Let's thank them first and foremost, Shank Club NFL, Jay Glasgow and Disco Worm. Um, you guys are awesome. Thank you all so very much for uh, sponsoring the show and being a part of all this fun. Now let's head over to the VIP lounge. Huh? Let's head on over. There we go. Inside the VIP lounge, just chilling and hanging out with Fatherhood Confession, C over the technician, Shant Club NFL, Jay Glasgow, Joel Reisberg. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Disco worm. And uh, we got VideoFusion.ca, a.k.a. Stefan from Canada, and Harry Gilmore. All right, so thank you guys all for being sponsors of the channel. I appreciate you all very much. I do do live streams. Um, I should be on one right now, but uh, I, I had to get this recording in, man. I had to get it in. You know, 100% had to get it in. So thank you all again for tuning in. Now you know how to auto stop your virtual DJ auto mix recordings. Uh, stay tuned for more virtual DJ and other fun OBS mix cloud content. We're going to keep pushing it out to you. I'm DJ LaFave out.